Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. Today we're going to take a look at the true metrics and potential error codes that can occur with this glucose meter. These error codes are valid for the regular true metrics, the true metrics error, as well as the true metrics go meters. Some basic troubleshooting to keep in mind when you are uh, having issues with your blood glucose meter is to ensure that you're not using expired test strips. Ensure that the test strip bottle has not been left open. Uh, exposing the test strips to an extended period of time to oxygen can cause the test strips to not work properly. Previously used test strips obviously can cause an error, so ensure you're using a fresh test strip. Uh, replacing the battery can sometimes resolve issues with um, errors on glucose meters, so if you're continuing to get error after error, it may mean it's time to replace the battery. And you could also use control solution to run a test uh, to ensure that the meter is functioning properly. I will also put uh, links to the specific error codes in the video description if you'd like to jump ahead to a specific error. E0, E0 means a liquid other than blood was used to do the reading or a potential meter error. Do use a new test strip and try retesting. If this continues to occur, you can contact the manufacturer. The number is found on the back of the meter. E1, E1 indicates that uh, the meter is being used at a temperature out of the recommended range. It's recommended you use it between 41 and 140, and I'm sorry, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. If you get this error, place the meter at room temperature, wait 10 minutes and retest. E2, E2 means a sample was not detected, simply that there was not enough blood. Uh, typically, the blood will go all the way up the test strip, so ensure that you have an appropriate size drop of blood. It could also mean that you are using the inappropriate test strip for this meter. Simply retest with the correct test strips, and that should take care of E2. E3, E3 indicates that you're attempting to reuse a test strip that has been previously used for a test or that the test strip was left out of the vial too long. Simply uh, use a new test strip and retest. If it does continue again, you could contact the manufacturer. Other errors are E4. E4 means there's uh, something wrong with the meter. In that case, you'd want to contact the manufacturer. Again, the number's on the back of the meter. E5 could be a test strip error or you have extremely high blood sugar. It's recommended you use a new test strip and retest. You would want to seek medical attention if you're having symptoms of very high blood sugar, such as fatigue, excess urination, blurry vision, that sort of thing. Error code 6 or E6 means the test strip was removed too soon. So simply retest with a new test strip and ensure that the test strip is left in place until the meter has completed the test. Or the micro USB cable could be plugged into the side of the meter, in which case it won't test properly. Remove the cable, repeat the test. Um, E9 could mean a communication error. In that case, you'd want to contact the manufacturer with a number on the back of the bottle. Low battery error, you could get the battery symbol flashing when you turn on the meter. That, of course, means it's time to replace the battery. At the first sign of the battery, you may be able to perform up to 50 more tests, so you do have some time to go ahead and get a new battery to replace that. Other codes that can occur, two, da two, li two lines of dashes indicate the display is broken and meaning it's time to replace the meter. High can mean that your blood sugar reading is over 600 milligrams per deciliter. Low could mean that your reading is 200 milligrams per deciliter or lower. You'd want to retest in both of these situations and if it continues to read high or low, you would want to seek medical attention. I do appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found the information useful and I'd appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.